Okay, what was wartime during World War II like? Do you remember the... Well, everything hold on. was rations and gas was rations and... Matt, tell me about buying stuff in the store. And, uh, all the stuff in the store you couldn't get. Okay. I think it was just one kind of candy you could buy. What was it? I forget now. It's been so long ago. What? Can you describe it? No. Could y'all get gum? I guess. I don't remember. Okay. What kind of drinks did you have back in the 40s? Coke? Coke. Uh, okay, tell me about how you, uh, collected for the, uh, war machine. Collected medals for the war machine of the United States of America. I did. Yeah, you did. Uh -uh. You, you don't remember, you told us that y'all, y'all used to collect metal to supply the war, for the no, war effort. daddy got metal to make, make throw parts and stuff with. But... Okay, did you uh, do anything with war bonds? No. Okay. Let's see. So you were 10 years old when Pearl Harbor was bombed. Do you remember it? Yes, sir. Okay, can you tell me about it? No. I, it, it, that... I, I just remember it happened. Okay, and what happened on the home front? What was your parents like? Were they shocked? I guess. Do you remember when FDR, if he came over the radio and started talking about it? No. Okay. Do you remember when the war ended? 1945, I think. Yeah, do you remember VJ Day and VE Day? Victory in Europe and victory in Japan? Yeah. Was it, like, amazing? I guess they dropped that atomic bomb on Japan. Which one? There's two. Uh, Little Boy and Fat Man dropped from Enola Gay and Boxcar. Yeah. Enola Gay hit Hiroshima, killing like 300,000. I could be wrong. I think 80 instantly. 80,000 instantly. No offense. And Nagasaki was Boxcar drop, uh, dropping Fat Man. Okay. Were you prepared to join up if the war kept going and we had not dropped atomic bombs? Were you planning to join the cause? I wasn't old enough. No, I mean, if, if it was to progress until you were old enough. Well, I was just 10 years old when the Pearl Harbor was bombed. I'm talking about in the five, you're 15, and then if it had gone to like 1948 or 49, were you going to join up? That would probably make I you join up. I hadn't thought about it. Okay. Tell me about the air raid drills. We had that every, just about every night in Korea. And, uh, in Korea? Yeah, they had. Uh, I'm talking about. Air raid, air raid things in the 40s. They had a guy in the neighborhood. And, Went around and make sure everybody had their lights out and everything. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> what was. How much money did y'all like? How much was your income during the 40s? You... I didn't work. But no, your like your household was it poor, average, good, amazing? It was poor. Okay. It was in the forties when I went to work for the Forestry Service. Uh, he worked for the uh, Tennessee Division of Forestry or U.S. Forest Service. Tennessee. He worked for uh, Tennessee Department of Forest uh, Division of Forestry. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about how you met Joanne. I went with a friend of mine that drove a rolling store and I met her out on the mountain. Okay. Tell me about uh, where y'all got married. 
We got married in Greens Old Georgia. Okay, what year were you married? 1955, I think. Okay. Let's see. When did you move to Chattanooga and why? I moved down here in 1955. Moved down to Chattanooga in 1955. Okay. Why did you move down here? For Saudi Motor Company. He worked for Saudi Daisy, well, Saudi at the time, Motor Company. Okay, tell me how you helped form the Saudi Daisy Fire Department. Well, uh, Jack Connolly, he bought a fire truck and uh, me and him started the fire department. Okay, tell me how you helped form the North Hamilton County Rescue Squad. Well, we started that with our CB club. Okay, CB ra radio is like what the police department emergency services use as radios? No, we have a, a rescue truck with a county police radio in it. That's what I'm saying. That's what emergency services use as a CB radio. Okay. What, did, what jobs did you do when you worked for the city of Red Bank? I run the animal shelter and I was building inspector. Animal shelter and building inspector. And you also went and uh, rescued animals, right? Yeah. Tell me about the time that you had to put down a rabid horse. I had a call when I worked at the Humane Society up on Sigma Mountain about a horse and it had rabies and I had to shoot it and take its head off and take it to the health department and it showed positive on the first test. Okay. What do you remember about when Sequoia was built? I remember uh, we just moved down to Dallas Place and uh, Nixon Pike was just a two-lane road up through there. Fields? Yeah. Everything. Okay. What was Mr. Leonard like, and what was what store did he run? He run a store down there where McDonald's is now, and he worked at the sheriff's department. Okay, that's Leonard Nairmore for a record. Uh, tell me about the time where my parents. Where you like locked the window and like my dad like brought him stuff or whatever. Nothing hot now. Can you tell me like when you lock, had to like l l put bars on the window? Tell me how you did that. I never did put bars on the window. That's what they say. I don't remember. So when did you uh, decide to uh, use cash only? In the. Uh... 90s. Why? I just did. Okay. That that's gonna be the end of the day unless I come up with something else. Okay. Thank you. Bye.